Hello! So I'm supposed to introduce you to a few programming tricks in this class and the simplest programming language out there just about is Visual Basic and that's what Excel uses and Excel actually has its own little compiler and macros program in here so I'm gonna show you how to record macros, how to write your own functions, how to use insert buttons and do a couple of things up here. Okay, so getting started, first you need to pull open your little developer tool pack. To get this into your ribbon, you're going to go to File, down to Options, and then under Customize Ribbon, the very top of your program with all the buttons, that's called a ribbon. So you're going to go Customize Ribbon, and then under Main Tabs, everything that's checked here, these are all of the tools that show up in your Excel ribbon and you want to just make sure that you have this developer tool pack checked. So go ahead and get that on there. Say OK. And as soon as you load that you should have this new little tab up here. The easiest way to write programs is Excel will record what you're doing and it will actually write the code for you. So we're going to have it record us plugging in equations and filling in some circuits tables and then we'll open up that program and you can see the macro it wrote. The easiest way to learn programming languages is to study the codes that other people have created and this is this really is the easiest way to get started. Okay, there's a couple different options up here we're going to choose Use Relative References. Relative References is going to make this code based on what cell we start in. So all of the equations we enter and the order of operations is all going to be linked to our starting cell. So for this one I'm going to move over to this yellow macro starting cell and make sure I have that cell selected before I start recording and then also make sure I have used relative references and after those two are selected I'm going to say record macro. Okay so we're going to give it a name. <coughs> I'm going to call it series so name it something descriptive so you actually know what all of these are doing shortcut key. This will execute the program for you. I'm going to call it control plus S. S for series and we're just going to store it in this workbook and it's good programming etiquette to fill in the description. So I'm going to type in here this program will calculate voltages and currents for resistors in series. So we have our description filled in, the name of our macro, our shortcut key set up. Now we can hit OK. And up here if you look at your recording button it says stop recording. That means it's actually recording everything we're doing right now. So while it's recording I am going to click over here and add together my resistors and it is watching what I'm doing here. So it is creating a program that's going to follow this and do everything that I'm doing. So you remember how to fill out these are resistors in series so we just add them all together. Here's our current is voltage divided by total resistance and it's just one loop so it is the same current through all of our resistors the last step is V equals I R. I'm not copying the equation over. I know you can just grab that lower right hand corner and drag it over but sometimes when you're recording macros it doesn't like that so I'm actually individually typing in each of these equations. When I'm done I'm going to go back up to my starting cell and then I will hit stop recording. Okay, so what did we just make here? If I go up to macros, 
I now have a new macro up here that says series. This is the one that I just created and I can either run it from here, step into or edit it. If I hit edit, it will pull up my program. Okay, so here is my program. I can't zoom in on this, so I've made a little copy of it that I'm going to pull over for you. Okay, so here is the program that it recorded. And what this does is if I come down here and click in my starting cell and I have another table just like the first one that has resistors and a voltage filled out, I can come over here and click on my starting cell and use my control S, my shortcut key that I set up. And do you see this? It just filled in the table for me. So if you ever find yourself doing monotonous, repetitive tasks, just have it record what you're doing and then you have a little program that will fill in all your tables automatically for you. Pretty cool. You can also run it from going to macros, series, and just hit the run button. But that little shortcut key that we set up, that's pretty convenient. Okay, let's walk through this code and just go through what it's actually doing in here. And remember this code, just go to macros, the program you just created, and you can say edit, and that will bring up this code. So we were using relative references. That means that all the calculations are done relative to that first cell we started on. So we can come down to a second table and again all the calculations in the second table will be done relative to where we started from. We start in our active cell. And remember what calculation we did first? The first calculation we did is right over here where we're adding all of our resistors together. So we come from the yellow cell, we march down one, two, three, four, and then we went over one, two, three, four. So this offset four, four, that is where, where we started from. So down four and over four from our original cell. And in our new spot, what we're going to do is add all of our resistors together. R and C are rows and columns. So we are going over three columns. So from this total resistance, we went one, two, three. We went over three columns. We grabbed the first resistor. And then we went over one, two columns, grabbed that second resistor, and then we went backwards one column and grab the third. So this is where we added all of our resistors together. Next we're going to move again. See this little offset? So we move up one. This is going up a row and this is where we calculated our current. So once we're in our new spot, we're going to come over here with a new formula and calculate our current. So to calculate the current, we're moving rows instead of columns. So row negative one, that means we're going to come up one, grab our voltage, and then we're going to go down one and grab our resistor. So this is V divided by R, and that's where we are calculating our current. Okay, after we got our total current, what we did was we copied that current across that whole table. So the next little piece of our program is just a bunch of equals RC1, equals RC2, equals RC3. This is where we were moving over one and then saying equals the total current, equals the total current. So that is just copying that current across that whole row. And the last little piece of the subroutine, you can find where it is calculating the voltages. So the last little piece of this is just equal to I times R, I times R. So look through your program, see if you can figure out what offsets it's doing, how it's moving around the tables, and then you'll recognize those equations that you plugged in. You might have to go through this a couple times before you get it in there just right. If you want to try it again, you can come in here 
click your original program and just delete it if you want to start again. If you don't delete it, you'll end up with like 10 versions of the same program and you'll have to keep finding new names for it. So if you're trying to do this a couple times, just delete it, try it again, and remember, start in a starting cell, make sure relative references is set, make sure you have that shortcut key in here, give it a good name, and it's it's really convenient. This, this comes in very handy. And then at the very end, you should be able to just hit your shortcut key, control S, and have it fill in the table for you. So pretty neat. Hope that wasn't too confusing. Let me show you one more thing we can do with our program and that is to insert a button for it. I'm going to come to developer insert and I'm going to just put in one of these little simple form control buttons. So click on it, click on your worksheet it's going to pull up this little menu that says, what macro do you want me to assign to your button? So I'll say series. This is what we just created there. OK, and here's my button. I can edit the text if I want to. So I'll say run series. And I can click and drag on this thing. If you right click on it, Oh, I have to put it in design mode first. So up here under developer, go to design mode, and then you can right click and you can do things like edit the text and format the control. So here's a couple more things that you can do to it. So I can change the height and the width, rescale it. And this little button will run my program for me. So if I I have to start in my starting cell again, but if I click on my button, there, it'll fill it in. Or if I come over here to my other starting cell and say run, it does it from the button. So just kind of a fun little thing. There's all kinds of little buttons up here that you can use.